Now I mentioned that application builder. All of these applications you see here, so inquiry lets you scan a barcode, it tells you what it is, bin inquiry, the basic count, so if you don't need, you do need the advanced count, but if you don't want to get it, you can use a basic count physical inventory journal. All of these applications that run on this handheld are built with our application builder. Now let me show you what that looks like. Here is a real life application that's running on the handheld device. This is our inventory count application. And you're like, well, what is that? Well, this is something Microsoft has this, they call it make code, and it's also Google Blockly and a few other things. But they're actually teaching this, this is how they're teaching initial logic and programming in school now. Like if you go to make code, Microsoft's make code. So like I said, if you've got a 12 year old kid, they're probably, this is probably how they're learning programming today in school. So if your 12 year old kid can do it, then probably your consultants can do it too. <laughs> That was rude, because probably some of you are those cons oh, sorry. Anyway, and the way it works, let me just show you. And, and I, let me show you how I would build an application, or update this application. So again, this is an inventory count. It's got a lot of logic here. Um, but if I wanted to say, you know what, when somebody scans uh, a pallet, right, so license plate. When somebody scans a pallet, so it says, hey, when a pallet gets scanned, I want to go ask the user for some information, a quantity, blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, I'll just get him to sign the screen because that's fun. So I scan a pallet, it's going to pop up, ask him to sign a signature on the screen. And then I'm going to say, you know what, on top of that, I want to do something in nav. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to call some business logic, either built-in business logic or some custom business logic. So I'm going to post a transfer order for some reason in my inventory account. And I've just updated this application. So if I save this and on the handout, I scan a license plate, it's going to run this stuff. It's going to do that. That's it. That's how you write the programs in the system. So you can see if you need to extend it, if you need to take our business logic and change some of this and, and manipulate it, it's very easy to, to do. Right? It's very easy to extend the solution. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.